Hey everyone. Well, after a long wait, the day is finally here. We're gonna get out in the fields and try to do something. Uh, right now, I'm gonna jump in the rock picker here, hooked on the 8100. Uh, yes, we still have that. So if you were following the channel, I did say we were gonna sell this. Well, we ended up keeping it. Uh, we've got it hooked on our rock picker here. It's a Rockmaster XL58. Uh, I believe these come out of Canada. I'm not for sure for sure where. Um, another thing interesting about this rock picker is that you can see this. Uh, there used to be a gearbox here. This originally was PTO driven, but uh, it was the 540 PTO, and we always like to hook it on a tractor with a cab, and all of our cab tractors have the big 1000 PTO. So when we uh, would run it with the, this tractor last year, back when it was PTO driven, it would turn it way too fast, even at an idle. And uh, we didn't like that. So now it's PTO driven, so we can run it with the big tractors or small tractors if we wanted to. So it, it's a lot nicer. Uh, it, it, I wish I could have got it painted up and stuff and make it look a little bit better, but it was kind of a budget build. Uh, everything uh, we used to build it, we already had. We didn't really buy any pieces. We found the uh, hoses. Uh, we had spare hoses laying around. And uh, we had that motor laying around too. So it was, it was kind of a budget build. I'm pretty sure the only thing we actually bought was the sprocket for the end of the motor. But other than that, uh, we really didn't put a lot of money into it. Um, we didn't chop this up or anything just in case for whatever reason we want to convert it back to a PTO driven machine or make it back original. Uh, so that's why that's still like that. I doubt we'll ever put it back to original, but it's there if we want it. I'm going to jump in here now and, uh, pick rocks all morning and get ahead of the cultivator. Uh, we might start cultivating yet tonight. If not, for sure, first thing tomorrow morning. Some of the first videos you saw uh, were actually of dad picking rocks yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon. He was out there for a couple hours. I'm just going around the corner down the road, so I'm leaving the rock picker folded out. So it's kind of offset right now and not pulling straight behind me. So I'm taking up the whole road, but I'm just going around the corner. So it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of a pain in the butt to fold in and out too, so. What's kind of a pain in the butt today is uh, Every, everywhere I'm gonna be picking rocks is uh, chisel plowed ground. We uh, did fall tillage, it's all chisel plowed where I'm at. And uh, it's pretty rough, so it's kind of slow moving. And uh, for those wondering why we don't just wait until after we cultivate to pick the rocks. Well, we got some pretty big monsters out here, some pretty big rocks. So if you were to hit it with the cultivator, you could potentially break something. And also, uh, even if you don't hit it, you're driving around some of the really big ones, missing spots, and then, oh, we'll come back and get it. It's just kind of annoying. So pick the rocks first, then you can just come through with the cultivator and not have to worry about anything and just go. I'm gonna drive to the corner of the property and uh, dump out the rocks that dad grabbed last night. And then, uh, start looking for some. It's not a rock, but it definitely needs to be pushed out of the way. And look what's right next to it.
about this rock picker is this right here. Some of the rock pickers out there, I noticed uh, they don't dump high like this. They uh, they just kind of tip back down low. For this, you can get a really big pile of rocks and keep dumping. What I don't like about it, sometimes you'll get garbage in there and uh, it doesn't want to dump out all the way. There's a little lip on the end. super rocky but there's just random giant big rocks that you can't pick up by hand or anything uh, you need a loader or a rock pick or something and uh, other than that you know there's not a lot of rocks in this field they're just a handful of big monsters so I'm on the lookout for them right now they're kind of hard to see and this chisel popped down corn stalks are still up high a little bit uh, yeah the sun's still coming up, so I'm getting glares on my windows. It's kind of hard to see. At least looking for rocks anyways. But keep looking. Dad did half this farm uh, last night, which is a plus. So he got the front half, and uh, he got up on the hilltop. It seems a little bit rockier than where I'm at. Not a real big one, but still big enough you don't want to hit it with the combine or anything this fall. driving around for a little while here and I'm not seeing any more big ones so I'm gonna dump what I got loaded up here and then uh, go to the next field uh, and of course if I do miss any real big ones all these fields that we're working uh, the next few days are all really close to each other so uh, it's not that big of a deal if uh, whoever's running the cultivator if they spot a real big one that you know it's just huge they missed uh, I could come back real quick or whoever's running the rock picker come and get it but um, yeah I'm gonna dump what I got and uh, go to the next field and see what I can do this is the one bad thing about this uh, cart I was telling you about this rock picker there's a little lip on it and when you get a bunch of garbage and stuff it gets the rocks hung up in there so see if we can get them out I can 
get this in. That's pretty big. Hydraulic line, but I'm gonna turn up the pressure on it a little bit. Ah, uh, come on. I gave it one more hearty try and I finally got to go in the cart. So I'm gonna turn around and go get the rocks that were sitting next to it. This was the biggest one, so the other ones will be a little bit easier. But that one gave me uh, a fight. I have a feeling there's gonna be a couple more big ones like that on this farm. This farm I'm at right now is quite a bit rockier, but right at the moment, I'm just going for basketball size and bigger. You know, obviously you can't get them all but uh yeah there's still a lot of still a lot of big ones out here i noticed my exhaust stack is uh wiggling a little bit when i'm driving through these uh just plot ground here so when i go home for lunch it's sunday so i'll probably stop for lunch um, let the tractor cool down and see if I could tighten that up a little bit. I'll stop for smaller rocks if I just grabbed a real big one next to it. The picker's getting pretty full now, so I'm gonna head over to the rock pile and uh, get it empty. As you can see, we have a couple of rocks on this farm over the years. Let's see if we can get this dealt. I just noticed when I went to go pick up the last rock here, the spring that holds the chain tensioner up is missing. I just walked around for a good 10 minutes trying to find it. It's probably broken, uh, so even if I did find it, it's uh, probably junk, but 
Yeah, I can't find it anymore. Uh, it would have been nice to find it so I could see what size spring I need. Uh, but yeah, I could still pick up small rocks the way it is. But when I set the cart down, the chain becomes really loose and it doesn't want to turn too good. So it's about lunchtime now. I'm going to dump what I have and then, uh, yeah, go get some lunch, see if I can go find a spring or something to replace it with. It is Sunday, so it'd be kind of hard to find parts today. But I did retrace my stops and I can't find it. So yeah, I'm going to go dump some rocks, go get some lunch, then uh, see if I can get this thing fixed. You can see when I set the cart down, the chain just wants to get really loose and uh, it's not going to want to turn or work too good. So we got to get that fixed. I think I'm going to cut the video here today. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to the channel. I'll have a lot more videos coming out in the next few weeks because uh, we're going to get busy here. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.